It's your girl Tamara G.I. and we are back with another video. So today we are working with Wild African and we are working with this color you guys. I was so excited to do this color and normally you guys know I always use the HD lace from Wild African but this particular lace that I'm using is the Swiss lace. But I really wasn't too alarmed about it being Swiss lace because regardless, to me, regardless of the lace textures that Wild African has to offer, the lace is always very thin and it always blends very well. So the HD lace automatically blends into your skin. You rarely have to use makeup. But for the Swiss lace, if you guys do purchase the Swiss lace, I would recommend putting your makeup over it because that's what I had to do. But it blended very well so i'm using my kiss glue y'all guys you guys know this kiss glue has had me in a choke hole like it has me literally in a choke hole like i've been using this kiss glue all the time it will be linked in the product list down below so make sure you guys check that out but i'm just doing the basic steps that i do the sections i like to put my glue the middle and then the sides and then um i just go ahead and put my elastic band on and let it melt but one tip that I like to do when I am doing my sections, you see me combing it in with a comb. And then you guys will see me going in with my hot comb a lot. And I feel like after you do your sections, I don't know why me going over it with a hot comb, it just gives me extra security. I, like, I feel like my wig is extra secure when I do that. <laughs> And also for this unit, I was trying to get a little up close and personal because um, some of my videos, I only have, I rarely have videos where I'm really, really up close. So I just decided this video, I wanted to be very up close so you guys can see more of what's going on. So now we are cutting the lace and you guys can even see once I start cutting the lace everything just looks so natural and that's the one thing that I really love about wild African wigs because everything just looks so natural. Now normally sometimes wild African, well most times wild African wigs come already bleached but with this unit in particular I did go over it a little bit with some more bleach because I just felt like this unit I just want it to be as seamless as possible so I did go over it with more bleach but I feel like that might just be for the swish units that you might have to put some more bleach on it but I know for the HD units I always don't have to put bleach on it but if you guys are using a swiss lace unit from them I depending on how well they bleached it maybe this is just a unit that I received that wasn't as bleached to my liking because this is the first time I ever had to like to go over a wild african wig with bleach so just keep that in mind but Either way it go, these wigs are very beginner friendly and if you do have to go over with bleach, it's not going to be as tedious because your wig is already plucked very well because I haven't, I didn't pluck this unit at all. It came pre-plucked and pre-bleached but like I said before, I did go over it a little bit with bleach. But as you guys can see, this hairline looks so good. Like it looks so natural.
Okay, you guys, so I'm back and I did some pink curls. I curled my hair the same exact way, but I just did some pink curls and I just got to do my makeup. So I was like, I'm just gonna show you guys how I take out these pink curls real quick and set this hair. Oh man, dang, I hate when that happens. I had redid my edges just cause I wanted them to look a certain, a different type of way. When I um, finished doing them, I was like, uh, I kind of want them to look different. So I changed it up. A little alcohol to get that out the way. Hey guys so this is the final look for this hair and i really like the way this came out i really love the color and everything I wore this hair for a couple days i can say that it kind of gave me a little bit of tangle just a little bit of tangle but overall this hair was pretty good besides me having like little snags here and there but um the color is really really cute though I kind of wish it did have some blonde streaks like throughout here but the different color dimensions is really cute and I feel like it really like brought out my little look that I have going on so if you guys want to know all the information on this hair make sure you guys click those links down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel and we'll be back with more videos soon stay blessed GI babies we out